If you want to annotate PDF files, you have a few options. One of them is Adobe Reader, Acrobat Reader from Adobe, which is a free application, the original PDF reader from the company who created the format. You get it for both Mac and the PC. On the PC, it looks like this. Here I have an annual report from uh, DTU Chemical Engineering. And uh, it looks like this. If I go to a page with some text, you can see that I maybe I wish to highlight some of this text. I could customize my toolbar adding the highlight text tool, adding a text box tool, adding a rectangle tool, and press OK. But in this case, we see that there are no toolbar arriving on the screen. Unfortunately, it should have been up here somewhere, but it's not. And the reason is that usage rights are not enabled. So if we look at the same document on the Mac, also using Adobe Reader, we have the same problem. The tools would not be enabled if I select them in here. We just try. Yes, unfortunately not. But what I did was I opened the same document with Adobe Acrobat Professional. And Adobe Acrobat Professional already have the toolbar available, by the way. So here I could just annotate as I wish, because Acrobat Professional is not limited like the reader is. But the point is that this document could be enabled for usage rights using the advanced menu, and then select the element enable usage rights. And if I do that, I need to save it in a different file name. Like this, and it's being saved. And what I can do is change over to Adobe Reader and open the file. And there we go. So uh, now I open the, um, the enabled document. And I go to Customize Toolbars. I select the highlight tool, text box tool, rectangle tool, click OK. And you see that up here I now have these tools available for me. Go to a page with some text. I can highlight the text, etc. So um, do you have to own Adobe Acrobat Professional in order to do this? Well, actually, there's a free alternative, but it's only on the PC, which is out of power now, it seems. Or maybe I have a chance to just show you quickly. And we'll see. PDF Exchange Viewer is another tool we have mentioned. And here I have a toolbar with all these tools available. The PDF Exchange application is free, so you just go download it. And the toolbar is simply enabled by using the bar up here, Tools, Comment, Markup Tools, and you enable or disable the toolbar like that. So this is PDF Exchange Viewer, which is free and can do all the annotation that you can only do using Adobe Acrobat Professional if usage rights are not enabled on your document, which in many cases is so, even though you scanned it yourself or made it yourself from Word or whatever. So um, maybe take a look at PDF Exchange Viewer if you need to do a lot of annotations. For instance, students' homework, you can return it, annotate it electronically. You can return those PDF files instead of uh, printed out pages.